Reframing Frugal February to Fabulous Frugal February has had a huge impact on improving my attitude towards this annual challenge. Of course, I've hit times where I felt exhausted, wanted to quit, wanted to cheat, but I didn't. I stayed true and honest to this challenge. So I'm really excited about sharing with you inside some of my vulnerabilities, inside some of my stressful moments, and sharing some of the coping mechanisms and things that I did to push through and continue on being frugal. I really hope that you've enjoyed watching this challenge and please let me know how much you saved by doing a fabulous frugal February with me. Saturday night and having accidentally a very frugal night. We were supposed to go for work drinks with some of Tom's clients. However, I've had a couple of nights in a row where Frankie has been crying and just crying like literally every half hour throughout the night. I'm so tired. So we, I've pulled out of tonight. I'm saving money on a babysitter. I was so tempted because I'm so tired to get um, Uber Eats. Um, Cause I was like, I was actually trying to convince myself. I was like, come on, it's a rainy night. Um, you're not going out for drinks with clients. You know, you deserve to um, get Uber Eats. Anyway, I pulled out some of that spaghetti bolognese out of the freezer. We just ate that. We're having, I Rocco and I are having ice cream. Thank you. Can I some dessert? You can have to share this with me. Anyway, Tom has gone. That's perfectly fine. I'm happy with that. Rocco and I are gonna hang out on the sofa together, eating ice cream. We're gonna watch a movie on Netflix and we're gonna be in bed very, very soon. And fingers crossed, Apple Pie is asleep upstairs and she's gonna stay like that because I really need some sleep. Happy Valentine's Day. I am having a very frugal night in. Apple Pie is falling off to sleep. Tom is away with work and I'm eating up the bits for dinner. Tempting to get Uber Eats, but no. When it comes to buying gifts in my house, Tom is incredibly generous. He's generous to my friends, he's generous with my family, he's actually generous with anyone that he meets. And this year I actually wanted to just buy him something nice for Valentine's Day. And I had my heart set on going and buying him and Rocco a joint Valentine's Day present where I would buy them a Nintendo. Now, I have resisted all temptation. I'm not gonna do this because I'm doing Frugal February and I don't need to go and buy them gifts. What I have done instead for Tom is I've made a video for him, a very special video where I have shared with him the little things that Tom does in my life that are really special to me and mean a lot. And I have sent that to him. Now, I actually make videos for Tom every now and again, little video montages, photographs, stuff like that. It's a very frugal present, but it's actually a priceless present because I share with him all the little things that moments that pass us by that I've managed to capture. And it's really lovely because you can see how much Rocco's grown up, see how much Apple's grown and all the little things that we've done together, it reminds him in these videos. So it's always a great present to get. Now I am going to still go and buy this present, but not in frugal February. I'm going to take my time, maybe look at lay buying it, do my research. And in due course, I will buy Tom and Rocco this Nintendo for them to play games together and have as another bonding activity with limited screen time rules, of course. One thing I'm realizing is I make a lot of excuses that really hold me back from being more frugal especially around this little one. Being a King Charles Cavalier, I've always told myself I have to get her professionally groomed and clipped. I've never actually stopped and thought for myself, why don't I have a go at doing it myself? There's nothing stopping me from buying a pair of secondhand clippers from Gumtree and having a go at doing it myself. So wish me good luck for Sophia's new, very frugal haircut. Frugal hack, make the most of loyalty reward programs like vintage sellers. Every time I need to grab a bottle of wine, I always make sure that I try and grab it from vintage sellers. I scan my phone every single time and I collect points and I just scored two bottles of wine for free. Probably my most satisfying savings, another $4. Today has been a frugal fail. I left the house hungry without any snacks. I went straight to the gym and did a workout, so my hunger hit hard. I 
broke the seal, I guess. And as soon as I did that, I was getting protein balls and I even got a takeaway coffee in a non-recyclable cup because I left my keep cup at home. Then I thought, you know what, I've come this far, I might as well just get a chocolate treat. And now I'm getting a cab home instead of walking home. Now, instead of beating myself up and giving myself a hard time, I'm being kind to myself. Because remember, it's fabulous frugal February. So I'm thinking and focusing my energies on the lesson here, which is don't leave the house hungry and always be organized and prepared. Things like packing snacks make a big difference. I'm also reminding myself about how far I have come already in frugal February, how much money I've actually saved. And I'm also reminding myself that tomorrow is a fresh day, a new opportunity to get back on the frugal ladder. Do not stop and get a coffee, even though you really want one. I know in half an hour, the feeling will subside. It's just something I've created in my head to justify spending money or having a break from the office. I don't need another coffee. I am so excited. I am going out to lunch with no children. And unfortunately, it's not a very frugal restaurant, but I don't mind because I have been planning this for a really long time. And I'm really excited about catching up with my friends. Now, this was booked about five or six weeks in advance. So I always knew that this was coming up. I knew that it was not gonna be frugal and I knew to plan and prepare for it. I've been putting money aside in the lead up to this event on top of my normal frugal money and my normal weekend budget allowance. So when the bill comes in, if it goes over, I've got enough and it's not going to ruin my budget for the rest of the month. I have a confession to make. I just had lunch in a cafe. The truth is I've had about three hours sleep. I'm literally crying inside. I can barely string a sentence together and I completely forgot that I'd organized to catch up with a really good girlfriend ages ago and I desperately wanted to have some like one-on-one -on -one time with her where we could chat and talk. Now I would normally say, look, I'm doing Frugal February, come over to my house instead and um, I'll make something. However, if I tried to cook something right now after three hours worth of sleep, I think I would more likely set fire to the house. And I thought to myself, you know what, go order a nice healthy salad, drink tap water, and try and keep the bill down as much as possible. And that's exactly what I did. And to be honest, I'm too even tired to be disappointed in myself. But um, I took this little one with me, it was a disaster. There was napkins being threaded, thrown everywhere. She grabbed my salad, which she's probably wearing most of my salad as you can see right now. And it was a, just say there was a bit of a disaster. I probably should have just said, I'm too tired, I've had a bad night and not go but anyway i did it i got to see my friend and i'm praying she's now going to go down for a nap after sitting on my lap and lap and terrorizing 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 i can't even speak properly i'm so tired but yeah feel bad but you know what it is what it is you just got tomorrow's a fresh day i've just got to roll with it well i'll tell you what it is easy being frugal when it is pouring with rain and wet soggy and miserable outside now i'm feeling a little bit better i got a little bit more sleep last night about my frugal slip up in having lunch at the cafe yesterday. I was able to, after a good night's sleep, put it back into perspective. Yes, the cafe was expensive. Yes, I didn't plan for it, but I still have allocated $20 per day towards getting um, lunch. So it just meant that I wasn't able to transfer money into my $1,000 project savings account and that I had to eat into some of my uh, weekend budget to pay for the remaining amount, which wasn't that much at all. So it's funny when you're tired, things just feel so much more disastrous um, than what they really are. But um, I'm feeling a little bit better about it. And you know what? I've already saved up in my account 170 odd dollars from doing Frugal February and it's still early days. And that is simply by taking my lunch to work most days anyway. So I can allow myself a little reward or treat after I've done the hard work, don't you think? It's incredible. I have no craving to get a takeaway coffee at all. However, I still have that craving for that raspberry and white chocolate muffin from Bloodhound. Not frugal. We just bought a house. It happened out of the blue when we least expected it. Seriously, I thought Tom and I would never agree on anything, but a great place came up and we just had to just quickly grab it whilst we agreed on everything. Now I just need to get this house ready and on the market as quickly as possible. <laughs> I 
I've literally just cracked it. My head feels like it's going to explode. I can't stop coughing. I'm feeling hot and dizzy. I feel like crap. Being frugal when you're not feeling well is really hard. So I have splurged, I'm like emotional eating right now for $10. I bought one slice of cake, but it's a Nutella cake and it's really delicious. And I'm literally sitting in the car all by myself. I literally just had to quickly wipe all the chocolate throughout my teeth and over my face and over my hands. And I'm just gonna be in my own little private bubble right now and just emotionally binge eat and enjoy every little bit of this $10 slice of chocolate cake, Nutella chocolate cake to be precise. And it's, it's really good. It's really helping me. Try to be frugal when you are feeling unwell really sucks. The upside is that you're too tired to actually do anything but stay in bed. But then the downside is I'm throwing money at the problem just to get through, like paying for Uber Eats because I'm too tired to cook dinner and clean up. Dealing with the non-frugalists of the household. Now during the week, I would never drink wine. To me, it seems like a waste of money. I don't really sleep very well when I drink alcohol. And if I am gonna have a few drinks, it's gonna be with friends, maybe in a restaurant or catch you up for a social occasion. However, Tom really enjoys a glass or maybe two glasses of wine. Not every night, but at least every other night. And at times I can get frustrated because it's a drain on the family budget. But this is the thing, when you do the thousand dollar project, you're the one that benefits from it. So when I watched Tom go and buy wine, I don't get upset, annoyed or angry or frustrated at him because the savings that I'm doing are purely for myself. That's money that gets invested in my name. And yes, of course, Tom is going to benefit from it in the long run, but I'm focusing on what I'm doing for myself. I respect what he love, value, uses and appreciates. And I focus on the savings and the investing. And of course, the long-term passive income streams. I'm getting smarter at this. Instead of catching up with a girlfriend today in a cafe for lunch, I'm inviting her over. We're having a really fresh salmon salad. Much cheaper than going to a cafe. And so much easier with Frankie as well. Time's up. How much did I save by doing Frugal February? Well, I had to count this up more than three times because I was so shocked when I saw the bottom figure and I felt ill. But I saved $935 by doing Frugal February. A lot of these savings came from simply self-discipline, exercising self-control, you know, things like doing my eyebrows myself, skipping a manicure and a pedicure, using a silk appeal instead of getting a leg wax at a beautician's. Then, of course, a lot of savings came around food. Things like learning to eat up the bits in my fridge before going to the shops. Taking my lunch to work was huge. Also, going through my fridge and pantry and freezer before going and writing my shopping list. And, of course, investing time in food planning and preparing so that there was no wastage. These things really did add up and it was definitely worth it. Now, this has been a wake up call for me. It's made me realize I've probably got a little bit too relaxed. I need to rein it in again. So as we go into this financially challenging time with the coronavirus and a lot of people's job security will be questioned and cash flows and budgeting will be really paramount right now as we all make sure that we have enough emergency savings and our debts are under control and of course coming down. I will make sure that I continue to make more frugal content for you, showing us and helping us each live a more meaningful life, making sure that we only use and spend our money wisely on things that we love, value, use and appreciate. And of course, we get on top of our financial goals, which should be around building long term financial freedom, independence and well-being. I really hope that you've enjoyed the Frugal series. I really hope that you've enjoyed this Frugal February series. I will link in the video description box my other videos if you haven't watched them, but I will also link this really important coronavirus video and I highly recommend you're following me on IGTV because I'll be making more videos around the financial impact of the coronavirus and how you could potentially capitalize. Thanks for watching. Yeah,